Hi guys, this is Elena from Artlero. Thank you for signing up to my channel. If you didn't sign up, please sign up. In my channel you can see I love to experiment, I love to paint. I, I'm doing acrylic paintings, oil paintings. I did experiment with low acrylics. And today I wanted to show you how I did experiment with dry brush technique. I did it the first time, I never tried it before, so I decided to do it and record it in the same time, first time. So in this case, I decided to do the portrait of Jennifer Aniston. I love the show Friends and I watch them all the time, I watch them like a million times already, all 10 seasons. And I usually have them on the background when I paint. So finally I decided to paint the portrait. So I picked Jennifer Aniston because she was really popular and now she's still popular and she had a really interesting haircut when she was uh, in France. And uh, I wanted to start painting girl's face. I would love to paint them all from the friends cast and I will do it I, I think I will do it soon so this dry brush technique needs for you to have watercolor paper this is portrait on paper and it's done with oil color in this case I used ivory black so what we do here in this technique as I understand because I, I'm still learning it and this is, was my first try so you load the brush with oil color and then you use another piece of paper next to your portrait where you're trying to take the, the oil paint out of the brush. So basically you rub the brush on the paper. You're supposed to have a paper next to you and the, the rub the, the paint of the brush and then try it out and see if the brush have these dry strokes so basically the portrait resembling the pencil portrait but it's it's more it doesn't smudge after a couple hours of drying and it dries really fast but if you give it a couple hours it will be very dry and you cannot smudge uh, as in pencil portrait you always smudge and you have to protect it with something so also since you use uh, brushes in this technique the portrait is more fast and you can cover more area with color with, with different different sizes of the brush i made uh, several mistakes in this portrait and i know it i know about it and but it's a learning process for me and i want to I suggest you to try this process out to try this dry brushing technique because it's really interesting and you might like it I I have mixed feelings about it but I want to try another portrait again so my problem was it's a, you if you make a mistake you're supposed to be able to erase your smudges if you didn't unload brush properly it, it will smudge as you can see on, on the side, on the eye and on the hair here in this portrait and on the lip too but in my case uh, the eraser didn't work that good so I wasn't able to erase my mistakes as clean as I wanted it to be so but this, this was an experience and, and, and the learning process too and, and this is an experiment and I, I think I a little bit messed up the face features here and I see that it's a little bit not as proper as supposed to be. But still, I would say it was the good and interesting experience for me. And please share with me if you try it, if you know about this method of painting. I was just trying to see if I can use it, if I can use it in my uh, acrylic painting, 
if I can use this method. So thank you for watching. Please sign up to my channel. Thank you all. Bye.